So are you someone who is somewhat influenced when it comes to people telling us to cut out foods from our diet? Hi guys, Christine here, your online mind and body empowerment coach. I hope that this video finds you all very well. So as my title says, there's a difference between cutting out foods from a place of love versus from a place of fear. So from a place of love, it would basically be, you know, if you're struggling with any sort of health issue or condition and the doctor says, hey, you might want to cut out X, Y, and Z, you, you very well may want to do that because it might help you, um, especially if you know you have celiac disease or if you have some sort of like dairy intolerance um, or if you, I know a lot of times people with, you know, um, autoimmune disorders, cutting out sugar or having foods with less processed sugar in them seems to really help. So if you fall into some sort of category in that arena, then that would be cutting out foods from a place of love because you're really and truly doing it for your health and you're doing it to feel better inside your body. Now, cutting out foods from a place of fear would be basically how I open this video, which is are you influenced by the latest trend telling you cut this food out and you will lose weight. And usually that's, you know, like the big three would be gluten, dairy, and uh, sugar. So, you know, there's so many different health and wellness influencers out there who try to convince people that by cutting those three things out of their daily diet, they will feel the best they've ever felt and they'll lose tons of weight and blah, blah, blah. And they kind of make you feel like if you don't do it, you're, you're a bad person or you're eating all the wrong foods and you're not doing anything right. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, most of them, that's how they make you feel. They kind of guilt you into trying their little programs. So this would be coming from a place of fear though. If you are very influenced and you say, you know what, I need to do that, then yes, you're definitely influenced. But it's okay, I totally get it because like I just said, they kind of guilt you into it. They make you feel like you need to do that or else you're a bad person, right? So here's the thing with that. It's been proven that a lot of times people who try cutting out these foods that they don't really need to cut out, but they think that they need to cut out, they end up developing a very disordered relationship with food because it, it's, it perpetuates the restrict binge cycle. Because if you really don't need to cut these foods out and you actually enjoy them, but you're doing it because you think you have to, you're most likely gonna end up, end up binging on them or overeating them at some later date. So again, it starts that restrict binge, restrict binge cycle, which yes, that is a very disordered relationship with food because that's not how you should have to live your life. You should just be able to eat freely and not worry about having to, you know, get as much as you can in one sitting because you don't know when you're going to be able to have it again and then eat it and feel tons and tons of guilt and shame around it. It's just this endless toxic cycle that just leaves you feeling like crap, basically. So... So yeah, so coming from a place of love, again, would be cutting out foods because it's really what's probably best for you and your health, depending on what situations you are going through. Cutting out foods from a place of fear would be doing it because you're being told, number one, it's probably like the latest hot trend out there in you know the wellness world or diet culture, and it's you know they're telling you that you're gonna lose all this weight if you cut out this kind of food, or you're bad if you don't cut out this kind of food, whatever it is. So. All I can say to this is always trust yourself, trust your gut as they say, trust your body wisdom. It, again, if you really and truly believe that cutting out a certain food is going to help you heal in some way, shape, or form, go ahead, give it a try, experiment. There's nothing wrong with experimenting, but if you're only doing it because you think that you have to do that, it's most likely a red flag saying, hey, not for you. You don't need to eliminate that food. It's not, it's not what's meant for you. So always trust yourself, always ask, is this what's right for me? And you'll know your body never lies, but you just have to pay attention and listen and honor it. <laughs> so I hope you all found this helpful. Let me know down in the comments below. Um, and as I always say, if you think anybody out there could benefit from this message, please feel free to share my video. But I wish you all a fabulous week and I will talk to you all again soon. Take care, bye.